Well, I'm back at the U again today, returning the offcuts to whence they came. And I'm going to have a look at this big log I found over here. Now, is that suitable for splitting or is it just too big? That's the question. I'll measure it up and see. Now, even with the best will in the world, I don't think I can do much with that. 14 inch diameter. But I've noticed underneath it there's something smaller. Now, with the assistance of gravity, I might be able to roll that big one off the small one and see what I can see. Now, this smaller piece looks quite promising. And I've removed some of the dead stuff from around it. Of course, the big danger is I roll that forward onto my leg, break my leg and leave myself trapped. Now, I think we'll agree, boys and girls, that that would be a very bad idea. So I'll get myself uphill and get my that stick I found the other day and see if I can lever this big one off the little end. Phew, that went with a whoosh. By using my trusty lever, which I'm guessing must be a bit of dead you else it would have broken, and the offcuts from the previous, I managed to lever it off so we can look and see what we've got. Now I reckon I reckon we've got a manageable sized U log. Right, it might not be the cleanest bit of U ever. And that far end's trapped under a log. Blimey, I'm puffing and blowing now. Change of plan. That log was actually light enough for me to lift and get off the end. Yeah, all that work. I've got it up there, and here we have the bane of the bowyer's life. Some pellet with a chainsaw who doesn't know what he's doing. But there you go. Uh, still can't quite decide if it's worth the trouble, because you always think the next face might be clean. See, that's annoying. There was a relatively clean run up here between these knots and up like that. To be honest, I'm a bit pessimistic now. Uh, we'll turn it over and have another look. I've had a young robin flying around keeping an eye on me. Keeps moving about. Don't know if you can see him on there. Still, even if the U's no good, it's worth getting out for a breath of fresh air and a bit of, um, a bit of company from the robin. Right, we're about 10 foot to this nick in the sapwood and there's a relatively clear run as long as I could thread it between these two knots. Well, that's a bit of a tall order, but of course that could always be at the grip. And I've come this far. We've got a big union here, so maybe I saw it. If I saw it here, well, I should better get the saw in 
reasonably past that log or maybe here yeah if I saw it here from the other side maybe try and split it in situ we'll see what we've got I'm even inspecting me log now yeah I'm getting a bit tired now well, that looks quite pretty doesn't it and there's got to be a pair of billets in here or something yeah. or maybe a couple of toothpicks I don't know Blimey. young lad walking past so I got him to help me lift it out onto the path I thought I said to him you never lifted a log before have you they're heavier than they look he just lifted the heavy end like it was nothing I lifted the back end I said how old are you he said I'm 20 I said well I'm 70 <laughs> I wish I was 20 again, but then I thought I don't really, all them bloody hormones. Anyway, he was a good lad. Whew. I might try and split it here, who knows. Yeah, looking at it closer, I've got four foot clear to here. So there's obviously a good pair of billets there somewhere. If it wasn't for some vandal with a chainsaw, I'd do even better. I'm trying to see if there's a clear run anywhere up the whole shooting match. Yeah, I think my best bet is split it in line with these two knots. He's back again. Because there's a face here that might just, in spite of a nick, might just squeeze a bow out of it or you get off my log. See, I think where I've disturbed the ground and the logs, I've exposed all sorts of tasty, tasty robin nom noms for him. I'm not sure whether one's a parent and the others. So this one looks in reasonable nick, could be a parent, and the other could be a nipper. I'm not that au fait with them birds. Well, that's got us started. You can see that um, the wood looks quite pretty on this end, doesn't it? Phew, you can see the last four foot split itself. Overall, probably quicker than doing it with a chainsaw. Uh, probably less dangerous too. Still got to actually get it right apart decide which bits I want to take home with me commune with the robins a little bit more I did see a, a wren round here too I tried, tried to take some stills but I haven't got my glasses on so I dangle and get in the way so I might have missed him pleased with that I think I'll have a wee sit down catch my breath and move on and here it is on the car I've got another passing person to give me a hand because I could have listed them one at a time in theory but um, by then I was getting pretty naked. Yeah, a lot of work, not a huge reward but I'm sure there'll be a pair of billets. I'll, I'll get one bow, might get two out of this lot but um, I enjoyed it really, that's the main thing. And I'm sure it's given you all some vicarious pleasure. Or is that vicarious pleasure? Discuss. <laughs>